Welcome back to high school football here on Country 93.1. After stopping the Crusaders on a fourth down, the Menden Hornets facing a third down and eight of their own on the MCC 24-yard line. And the Hornets come back out onto the field. Uh, quick update, Alex Lewandowski is resting his ankle, sitting on the bench right now, not looking terribly happy. And I'm sure none of the Muskegon Catholic fans are happy for him either right now at this point. Hopefully they can get him out, but letting him rest that ankle for a little while after one big hit and one big tackle in this game. Third down and eight. Everstein from the shotgun fakes the handoff. Now he gets flushed out of the pocket, gets chased down from behind, and what a tackle there on defense. That was number 35, Brant McCollum, coming through with a one-handed tackle. Otherwise, Everstein probably would have had a first down. Instead, he only gets about three yards. It'll be fourth down and five for Menden. Yeah, absolutely. He might have had a touchdown there if it wasn't for Brant McCollum. And again, that's the same play that they ran last year Twice the quarterback ran on that play for a touchdown, and MCC still doesn't seem to be doing a great job defending it. Fourth down and five. Money time for the MCC defense. They fake the handoff. Everstein looking to pass. He's got a man. He overthrows him. It falls incomplete. No flags on the field. MCC takes over on downs at the 20 yard line. Well, the defense steps up again when it has to. Uh, even with their leader on the sidelines, Alex Lewandowski, with that bad ankle. A nice job of uh, recovering and stopping Menden. All right, let's see if Jesse Anderson can bring back that All-State form from a year ago for this Muskegon Catholic Central Crusader team. 4.50 left to go here in the first quarter. Both teams get some gains on offense. Both stopped on fourth down. MCC second turn with the ball, first and 10. They bunch three receivers to the right. Now they're going to split Kari Campbell wide to the left. Campbell under center. He's got Lamar Jordan lined up behind him. Now they send Tommy Scott in motion. Dropping back Campbell to Campbell looking for that connection. Kari goes over the top, just about gets it as he was a, quite a bit taller than Parker Cup, who stands six feet tall. But Kari almost got up and grabbed that one. Instead, it falls for an incompletion. Second down and 10 MCC. Well, there you see the Kari Campbell all year has been the player that is a, such a matchup problem for everybody and including Menden today. So they're gonna, I wouldn't be surprised if they do that a couple of times today, try to get him isolated one-on-one -on -one and use his athletic ability. They're gonna split Samford wide to the left. Jordan and Scott in the backfield. Here comes the handoff to Tommy Scott. He makes a cut, he jump, jumps over a man for a five yard gain before getting a big hit delivered to him. A big collision there, but a gain of five yards on second down will bring up third down and five MCC. Yeah, Tommy Scott looked a little like Le'Veon Bell there, don't you think, Matt? He was trying. He was yeah. doing his best impression, but he also got planted pretty hard on that one. And then, you know, Menden, just like MCC, these guys can hit. These guys are tough football players. Arnott just uh, greeted him after that little leap. Third down, five yards to go. Just over four minutes left here in the first quarter. Muskegon Catholic Central taking on Menden. Alex Lewandowski trying to get up and walk a little bit on the far sideline. We'll keep an eye on that as it goes along. Campbell looking to keep this one himself. He breaks the tackle. He's got a first down and more going down the right sideline. It's a foot race. Campbell's got one man to beat. He just steps out of bounds at midfield. Oh, Zach Campbell almost broke the big one there. He did get 25 yards on the play and a first down for MCC. What a great run there by Zach Campbell. It looked like they had him stopped and we're going to force MCC to punt. But uh, again, the, the advantage of having that kind of quarterback with the speed and toughness that Zach Campbell has, um, a huge first down for the Crusaders. Crusaders showing their multi-dimensional abilities here. First down and 10 from midfield. Campbell under center, looking to run the option. He tucks it himself, takes a gain of about three yards before getting a big hit delivered down to the 40. They're going to say he got two down to the 48. Second down and eight yards to go for MCC. You know, here in the latter stages of the first quarter, my impressions of the game, I'm pleasantly surprised with the amount of offense we've seen. I think we've seen uh, both offenses play well and move the ball. I expected more of just a three plays and punt fest, so. Campbell under center, he's got a tee behind him. And Jesse's gonna get it this time. He gets hit in the backfield, he's gonna get taken down for a two yard loss. Jumping in on that play, Tyler Matthews among the others. 
for the Menden Hornets. It's going to force third down and 10 for MCC. Yeah, that time a, a blitz situation. It was actually the middle linebacker, Derek Zagon, who who burst through there and, and had uh, Jesse about as soon as he got the ball. So uh, you know, you're, you're seeing uh, after MCC running the ball very well, that first possession, some defensive adjustments for Menden, and the running yards are getting harder to come by. Third down and 10, back to a T formation for MCC. Campbell fakes the handoff, drops back. He's looking for a screen pass. He's got Sanford, but Sanford's got some people to beat. He's got one more man. He's across 45, across the 40. He's got a first down, going down the left sideline. Finally knocked out of bounds at the 34. Good run after the catch there by Blake Sanford. Yes, he uh, he, he slipped a couple of tackles there and was able to get in, get out into the open. Uh, Blake Sanford is kind of like a, a Tyler Harris, a, a short guy who is uh, hard to get a hold of, and uh, he really made a great play after that catch. Gets a good job from his coach as he heads back to the sideline to catch a breather. Down to the 35-yard line, a 15-yard play right there for MCC. First down and 10. They got Mesker split wide to the left. Kari Campbell is in at quarterback, and Kari's going to take it himself. Here goes a big man lumbering up the middle for five yards, trying to carry a pile with him, and they'll finally play, whistle this play dead. Wildcat look there from MCC. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. We, we're seeing a lot of different things in this game that both I think have been saving just for today. Kari Campbell taking a direct snap, and uh, he got met big time by Andy Bruick there in the, in the hole, but... Uh, Curry can handle it. Yeah, I'm just doing a quick scan of their roster, and they just don't have anyone that's quite Curry's size except for Kevin Coleman. We're going to run this play one more time. Campbell, ooh, high snap. He gathers it back in, and he runs up the middle. He's got a first down inside the 25, fighting his way down, and he's finally taken down at the 20-yard line. So two plays in a row. That one showing some good hands there as well as good feet for Curry Campbell and MCC. Yeah, very interesting uh, philosophy here, but I, that's what you do when you're an offensive coordinator. You think, God, if I was the other team's defense, what's the last thing I want to see? And that's uh, Kari Campbell running straight at me. And so they're, they're giving it to him right now. Now it looks like we're back to Zach Campbell. Zach Campbell under center, back to a T formation for MCC. Hand off to Tommy Scott, coming off the left-hand side. He makes one cut. He's inside the 10. He's inside the 5. Touchdown, MCC! Tommy Scott, a 20-yard run off the left side with a minute 32 to go here in the first quarter, and the Crusaders strike first. It is six to nothing, MCC. Wow, a great hole and run by Tommy Scott, but what really set that up was having Kari Campbell at quarterback for two plays. It kind of, I think, confused the Menden defense. Then we go back to just a conventional off-tackle play. Huge hole, and Tommy Scott stepping up big for the injured Alex Lewandowski. Zach Campbell... Comes on for the extra point. Dominic Mitkiff is the holder. The snap is good. Campbell's kick is up. And it is good. 7 to nothing. MCC and that touchdown. Brought to you by God's Gifts Catholic Store. Located at the corner of Harbor and Columbus in Grand Haven. MCC takes a 7 nothing lead. With about 90 seconds left in the first quarter. We'll be back with more here on Country 93.1.